Hi guys, I'm Jesse at strobepro.com and today I'm going to be showing you our two-in-one boom stands. We sell two different heights, a 13 foot and a 16 foot. So in the kit you're going to get the uh, actual stand here itself and then you're going to get a sandbag that's used as a counterweight and I'll get into that in a minute. So to set this up you're going to have a screw right here that releases the main legs. Loosen that off and then the legs are going to slide down the pole right here. You want to get them basically flat. You don't want to have your um, horizontal sections pointing up. So flatten them out, tighten back the screw, and then we're good to put that guy down. Just to mention, this is the 16 foot that I'm working with right here. The 13 foot sets up the exact same way. So the nice thing about this stand is that it's a vertical stand all the way up to 16 feet if you want it. So we've got multiple sections here. Um, we can go up another section even all the way up to 16 feet. Now where the beauty of this guy comes in is in its dual purpose role. So you're going to see this lever and mechanism right here. What this does, it allows the boom to tilt over. So first of all we have to release this screw, the section is going to come all the way up and you'll notice it's all the way up when you see the end part there. Once that's all the way up we can move the lever and then tilt across and at the same time we're sliding out the back end of the boom. Once we have the position determined we're going to lock our telescoping knob back in and then lock the tilt into position with this. If this was in the way we can pull back on here and just position the handle out of the way. You do that just it's spring loaded there so just pull it out of the way if you had something that was obstructing it. From there we've got the spigot. Now right now it's mounted in the vertical position. We can put this horizontally as well. So we just pop the screw out and we've got a quarter inch on one side, a three eighths on the other, so it's reversible if you want to put different accessories on that. Um, and most of the time, you're going to put it vertical like that. Tighten it down, and now we're good to go. You've got a full another extension to run all the way out. Now remember, when you're sending this guy out, you've got to keep in mind the load that you're putting on the end here. So it'll take a heavy load but we need to counterbalance it and that's where the sandbag comes in which is included with every stand and the way that works we've got a clip right on the end here. So very simple just a normal clip that you would see and that's going to clip onto this, this hole right here on the end of the stand. So clip it on and now we've got a counterbalance. This comes unfilled just for shipping. Um, what we normally recommend when filling a sandbag, get some Ziploc freezer bags, put the sand or gravel or whatever you're using inside that. That way if you get it wet outside in the rain or something, it's not going to turn whatever's in the bag to mud when you need to top it off or if you wanted to get it out of there. Inside you've got a zipper. You could even throw water bottles or whatever you want in there. Um, so two zippers, one on each side. So fill that guy up and then you've got your counterbalance all set. So the difference between the 13 foot and the 16 foot, um, the 16 has a little bit wider base. It'll handle a little bit heavier load and it's got one extra section of height. So as we see right here, this one has two sections to go up. Um, so one and then two. The 13 foot only has the one section to go up so it's just down here. Benefit of the 13 foot being that it is a little bit more portable for you though. One question we get all the time is what are these little plastic clips on the actual stand here? Let me show you. Um, this is designed, it just pops off like that it's designed to hold a power cable. So you would put your power cable in the little loop like that 
and then clip it back on. So what it does, when this is up on a boom, we're using the X600, which has a battery pack, but normally your plug would be plugged in there. It just contains the cable rather than, you know, if we didn't have this, it would be, you know, kind of hanging way out here. So it just cleans the cable up a little bit. Um, both stands will have them, just makes things a little bit easier for you. So once you've got this set up, you can easily put a strobe or whatever you want on right here. I've got an X600. And just like any other um, accessory, you're just gonna drop it right onto the spigot here, lock it in, and now you're good to go to position that. We can control the tilt angle, put it wherever we want. If we wanted it completely horizontal like that, then we could send it up. So there's a million different positions you could put this in. One thing to keep in mind when you are running like a big strobe with a heavy modifier on there, you might want to consider putting a sandbag or a stand weight on. That's what we've got right here. So this is a sandbag that we sell. Just like the counterweight, we've got a zipper on each side that you would fill with sand or gravel. Again, throw it in a Ziploc freezer bag. It just keeps everything clean um, so you don't get a bunch of sand all over your gear. And we're gonna position that right over the bottom legs here. So once that's filled, you just drop it over a leg and you're good to go. Now, if the idea of a sandbag doesn't sound good to you, uh, we have our Stro Pro counterweight here. This is seven pounds. The difference between this and a sandbag is this places all the weight directly on the leg, whereas a sandbag can put some of it on the ground, so you're wasting a bit of it. So to use this guy, all we're doing, we back off this screw here, take it right off, and then you're gonna see a little clamp in here. And these little grooves attach directly onto the legs. So you'll need a stand, and most stands have this, the two grooves right here. So we bring the weight underneath, drop this over till it fits in the grooves, and then attach the lock nut on top. That way we can position this across the leg to put the weight directly where we want it. And it's a really nice, clean looking way to keep that weight off. To put the stand away, we're just gonna do the opposite of what we did to set it up. So, pop off the sandbag off the back of it there. We're gonna lower the height. And just like before, we're gonna loosen this screw right here. So we back that up. That allows us to slide all the way up to the end. Once we've gotten it to the end, we can release the tilt. So we bring this handle. That's gonna allow us to go vertical and all the way back down. Once that's into position, lock it in, bring the legs up vertical again. Now we're ready to pack it back up. So just as easy as that, check out the boom stands at strobepro.com. Until next time, we'll see you later.